today we got a 2021 um, GMC Sierra uh, with a 3.0 liter diesel and today I'm going to show you how to replace the fuel filter. So first step is to find it. In this case it's actually right on the driver's side right here. What we're going to show you is that if you actually look it up they tell you to remove the housing, put the housing back on, then do it to empty the, the, the water that's in it. So, do you have to? No. All you have to do is remove the bottom here with a, with a big old nut here and everything should be able to come right out. So the only thing you're going to need today, all you're going to need today is a 36 millimeter socket and you're going to need a half inch torque uh, ratchet or something on those lines, breaker bar even. Um, ratchets are just a little easier, so let me show you how it's done. Definitely messy. That is wore all down my damn arm. So as you can see, that's the filter. And what you'd be replacing is this piece by itself, which comes with all this. It's actually two separate pieces. And this gasket right here. Alright guys, so now that we're out from underneath the truck, this piece is separate. This comes right out, just like this. That gasket o-ring there, the green one, will be replaced with the new filter. So you just take this, throw it right in the trash can. Then all you have to do is you gotta remove this blue ring, which I'm gonna grab the tool for now. And I'm actually gonna pop up the phone so you can actually see everything I'm doing. to do is get up underneath it just like this and pull it off just like that. You can throw that away as well. And your new filter should come in a nice box just like this one. You should have your gasket and your replacement filter. So this gasket, just like the old one, also goes around this. Just take this, slap this on like this, just make sure it's not rolled up or nothing, it has a nice good seal, it's completely in the groove all the way around. If you like, just as an extra precaution, you could take some of the diesel fuel that's inside of it, rub it right around that, that o-ring for you. Do you have to? No, but it's definitely suggested. It'll prevent any further damage when inst uh, installing it due to diesel oil, uh, diesel fuel having a little bit of oil into it. You just take this, stick it in there, and it goes right in, just like that. And all you have to do is take this, walk back up underneath your, the truck, stick it up, and start twisting it by hand. That is very important. What you can do is potentially cross thread this, if you do try to use any power tools, you could damage this. If you use any power tools, I would definitely advise to try not doing that specifically. So, you see how it's in there? Can't turn it by hand anymore. Then what we'll do is we'll go over and grab the ratchet and the socket again, and we will tighten it up. So now we're gonna put the socket on, and we're gonna start turning. I'll be right back with you. I don't want to strip this out. All right, guys, so now that it's on, you got a little bit of diesel fuel that's sitting there leaking out. All you have to do is grab a rag. Clean it up real nice. Make sure it looks very professional. 
very clean to get all the residue off. And once everything's all nice and clean, just make sure you get the bracket as well. Just to put that little tidbit in there. Again, it's part of the cleaning process. But then once you're all done, you may remove your oil caddy and we will get to priming. All right guys, so the easiest way to actually prime your truck would be to press your start button and let it sit there and almost like whine, like the fuel pump. You shut it off, you do the same thing in the on position, you shut it off again, you do it again. When you go to shut it off for a fourth time, you may start afterwards. It helps prime everything. For example, let me show you. So we have one, two, three, and then the third, the on the fourth time, you press the brake, you hit your button, and now you may start. There you go. If you guys have any further questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Um, if you're interested, please subscribe and like the video. Appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching.